Yo, can we get a one in the chat from everyone watching right now? One in the chat for the weekend. One in the chat for this amazing game. One in the chat for the number one community out there. Let's get it going. Hell yeah. Let's get excited. Dave the Diver, y'all. This game is amazing. Amazing. My favorite game of the year, honestly. I've been waiting for this one for so long, and I'm glad it lived up to all my hype. Uh... I wouldn't say expectations, because I have no idea where this game's taking me. But it's been amazing so far. And this game, and Dredge, and a few others have been really, like, bangers. And it's great. I I'm really glad that this game is just fun. You know what I mean? Just goofy fun. A little bit of a business simulation, a little bit of a tycoon game, and a damn good game. So let's give a one to Dave in the chat. One in the chat. Let's go. Thomas with the five months. Hey, that's one times five. Thank you very much, dude, for the Raptor Egg membership. Hell yeah. Thank you very much for your member milestone. All right. Well, let's hop back into David the Diver and uh, get this bad boy going. Oh, wait a minute. That's hilarious. Only 0.1% of gamers have eaten the ration in Dave the Diver, the one we found yesterday in that factory. That's awesome. All right, let's play some Dave the Diver. Let's go. Good. All right, let's get back to where we were. Uh, yesterday we uh, finished up, um, I think, a day of operations at the, at the diner. Now we got to, uh, or maybe we have to still do it. I think we're back on the boat. Yeah, we are. That's what I thought. All right, so we have nothing to do except for get some big O tuna. But we did get a bomb for that. Oh, we got to feed our little critter, so let's do that. Yeah, I love seeing all the ones in the chat. Good job, chat. Thanks for tossing one in the chats. Good vibes, good energy. Give me your energy. Let's feed our little critter. Yeah, I love you. Okay. Good morning to you, chat. Good morning. Hmm. Oh, you don't listen. Oh, I think we already did this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're good. I, I think we're ready to go. Um, oh, by the way, yesterday somebody told me that I had been forgetting to, uh, as I like claim a new weapon, I forgot you could, like, if you, if you open up the boxes underwater and a weapon pops out that you don't want, I totally forgot you could disassemble those. Somebody reminded me yesterday and I was like, oh yeah, we've been playing for like three days and we all forgot that. Okay, I totally forgot you could salvage a weapon and then just like use it for parts. It's like, wow. You reminded me, thank you. All right, we got the tuna event in one day. We got a VIP coming in one day, so we got to do the Chinese cuisine contest. And we got to do a big old tuna thon, so let's go get ourselves some pepper tuna. Pepper tuna. Pepper tuna. Uh, good morning, chat. Good morning. I see so many more people tuning in. Welcome. Good to see you all here. Yeah, one's in the chat if you're watching live. One's in the chat for the number one community out there. Let's go. Now let's get ourselves more than one tuna. All right, we specifically also need blue. No. Actually, we may as well grab everything. Because at this rate in Dave the Diver, everything's going to be needed. All right, let's see if we can remember how to uh, hold to disassemble. Yep. Wow, totally forgot it. Well, that makes a lot less room for other things, too, but... Well, hello, beautiful. Oh, wow, there's... There's the yellowfin tune over there. Okay, let's see where they go. Alright, right about there's a good spot. Oh, damn! Oh, we almost got three of them. Here comes the sub. Alright, let's try this one. That looks like yellowfin. Make sure we put it in the perfect spot to try to catch as many as possible. We can count more than one, so that's cool. I feel like I want to put it right here. Here they come. Oh, nice. Two. Alright, that's big. Yellowfin tuna. Hell yeah. Very nice. Well, now we have our warm suit, so... Uh. Alright, you know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna ignore all the things now on these upper levels. And we gotta go down to the village. Because we gotta, we gotta save a lot of room for other stuff. Oh, boy. Are we winning? We sure are. Hell yeah, we are. I need what's in here. Yep. That I'll take. Let's get out of here. Oh, right. I gotta prepare a short for today, too. Is that a pink one? No, brown. We will need seaweed. Or kelp or whatnot. Going down. No, 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 resist. Gotta save as much room for the glacier area as possible. But we still need things like soy sauce and sesame seeds too. Oh. 
Actually, we do need these guys. Do need these guys. You're making Metal Gear shorts? Awesome. Metal shorts? Those must hurt. Okay. We're grabbing what makes a lot of money or what we needed to enhance that other dish. How oh, rude. You're getting killed, sir. down here is cool. Hey, is that a cookie cutter? Hey, I need to kill you. I think that's a cookie cutter. You need to die, sir. It's a frilled shark. Damn. These boys weigh nothing and are worth quite quite a bit of money. Where's the chat at? Chat's in the chat. What's up, chat? How you doing? What's the meaning of the game finding hidden items? Oh, wait, you're wondering what you do in this game? Well, yeah, there's hidden items. You can fish and make farms for fish and also for vegetables and things. It's about owning and operating a sushi restaurant, but it's a little more fun than that. Dave and his friends are all really hilarious. There's a very well-written story. It's very funny. What is this? Oh wait, this is a container. Oh, that's right. This is a container that will uh, take a lot of the stuff that we find with us. So... Okay, so it increases our capacity by 10. This makes a lot of money. Looking forward to more cutscenes? Hell yeah. What kind of games you like to play and what kind of games you don't like to play? I'm not really too into, like, sports games. 
you know, like football, baseball, basketball. I'm not, not really interested in playing those kinds of games. But I do like anything that is a, you know, close to a simulator or close to a tycoon game. Something where you get to own and operate like your own restaurant or... That's what appealed me to this game first. I was like, oh cool, a little sushi restaurant simulator. That, that'll be fun. But this came to be a little bit more than that. A lot more than that. Okay, that's opal. Let's get that. Because that is a bit rare. Oh, the knife level's too low. Alright, we'll have to upgrade the knife again. Uh, we'll be playing Aliens today, but today we're going to take a break from uh, Dark Descent, which is amazing. You should watch the Dark Descent playthrough on the channel. It's, <laughs> it's a very good game. But I thought we would go back and play Aliens Fireteam Elite, which came out like a couple years ago, but... Ooh, a curry block. But we're going to take a look at their newest DLC, which again just came out a year ago, but I hadn't had time with Bradford and Jerry yet to play it. Okay, we're getting a little full. But I can get rid of at least 10 kilograms, so... Alright, let's get out of here. Football manager, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Look at how quickly I filled up. We gotta get a goblin. We gotta get the goblin perk. Imagine how many shorts you can make if you did a whole stream just chatting with the AI from News Cycle. Oh, yeah. Well, YouTube would have to create a new thing called YouTube Long. Or how long that would take. Okay, before we go into the village, I'm going to pop that box and get rid of at least 10 kg. And I think we should drop some stuff we don't need. Now we're getting weight limits all the time. All right. Can we sort by weight? Comb jellies, that's what's taking up the most of our weight, but we need those. I'll get rid of fang tooth here. Spider crab can go. Now we're back down to 82, that's good. Oh, we still have kelp and seaweed inside the uh, base to gather as well. Alright, well let's pop this thing. Uh, oh. So it's 7... Put the seaweed in there. There we go, ten. Items in the cargo box will be retrieved automatically as soon as your dive is over. Great. Good, good. 
Cool. Hey, Anthony. You like the sports manager games, but not the... Yeah, I, I agree. Like, the manager games I'd probably enjoy more, but I just don't want anything to do with the... Uh, I don't know, sport, the sports games make me think of EA, and I hate that. Even if they're not an EA game. Is the base Anno 1800 experience fun? Yeah, Anno 1800, the uh, Steam sale is going on right now, so now is a good time to like get Anno 1800 if you haven't played it before and just get <clears throat> just play like the campaign. And I'd say like any game you want to get, like get now on the Steam sale, you know, because it's super cheap if you if you want to get it. If you're thinking about getting DLCs, and then. Uh, buy DLCs later. So like, start with the base game, start playing it now. If you really like it, then like think about getting one or two D uh, DLCs. You know, in time for the Steam sale. It's a good thing about the Steam sales; it goes on long enough to give you at least a little bit of time to try a game before you uh, maybe buy more DLC for it, or buy like a sequel or something. There's other great Anno 1800, well, Anno games out there. 1800 being one of them. But I think the Steam sale is a really good time to top off your collection if you have almost every single City Skylines DLC or every single Sims DLC. You kind of may as well just pull the trigger and top off your collection. Especially for like City Skylines. We're at the end of like... We're probably at the end of City Skylines getting new DLC. I wouldn't be surprised if they released maybe one or two more after two, but I think all the focus will be on two. Oh, I need to go back to that mirror. Alright, let's go to the glacial area. Alright, this is a new area. We've never been here before. So this is going to be really cool. Yo, chat, thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the subs. Welcome to all the new members. The channel really is... Uh, Thankful for your support. It's really cool to see so many people becoming members. So thanks to all you who do that. Alright, we usually gather fish here. We're not going to do that. <clears throat> Let's go further. Okay. Wow. It's really warm. Completely different from before. Well, time to really explore the area. Oh, and goodbye. Bro, it's a freaking bear. I didn't know those lived under the sea. Oh wow, no world, no wall, man. Whoa! This dude is final boss battle. Whoa! Thanks, mine, for exploding. My God, dude! Whoa! Holy hell, Dave! This guy's final boss battle territory. <sighs> dude, he's got that long, long horn. Norwell, man. <sighs> Curry block is zero rank. Completely new. Wait, why is everything not one star? Rank two zero star. 
I guess rank two is better than uh, rank one with four, three stars. I don't think he was taking any damage from that mine. Um... Sure. Ugh. Well, we got the tuna we needed. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, yeah. And we got the stuff in the box, so we're good. Oof. No way. Hey, the crops have all grown. Come harvest. We'll do that later. Let's start at the mirror this time. We won't have to go through all that, so we're okay. What's the death symbol? Is he sick? Let's go back to the glacial area. Well, the most important thing is we got that tuna. That's what we had to get when we were shallow. And those were automatically salvaged by the uh, submarine. The Norwal is no joke. He's a real problem because... Um, He's got that mega extendo range for his horn. And so I've only got like one second to like attack him. He's gotta die now though. Ooh. What does purple mean? Southern bull kelp. Oh, that'll be helpful. Alright, let's explore a bit, maybe. And then we'll harvest any of the big boys. a huge jellyfish. Oh, what's its name? Lion Mane or something? Anyway, it's a giant jellyfish in the glacial area. I must take a nice photo. Let's take a pic. Let's do it. Our wall in the background could be a bonus. Yep. Our wall's mean, man. That was a nice shot. He's leaving! Whoa, boy, you scared me. Even in such a cold place, there's something for such a big... There's still something for such a big creature to eat. The deep sea is really a mysterious place. It sure is. Uh, we're going to need to increase our depth again. A red clam shell. Alright, we're finding all sorts of new stuff, which could mean big money dishes down here. And a pickaxe. For this. Oh. Thanks, pal. 
Oh, it's a mirror. Oh, nice. All right, that's cool. Antarctic octopus. Now, now we have all this room for new stuff. Yeah, fast travel, exactly. So we'll be able to leave here. Actually, if we, if we kill a narwhal or a shark, we should be able to extract it, too. Because we got our subs remaining. Topaz. Another new thing. This area is completely new. Gelatinous snailfish. Ice fish. Attic. Nice. Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. Okay. It's interesting. They made us go down to then go enter from below this oh boy we're gonna need something big an ice gun hmm. bone chilling gun that can freeze anything oh another thing I should have been doing too is just picking up every gun first so we could get research on it, like the Trank gun and stuff. Although, that's an upgrade, so I don't know. It's a different gun type. his ass. <sighs> nice. The hell is that thing? Is that a, a cat of some sort? Oh, of course, it's the poor beagle shark. Sure is. I wonder if we can capture schools of fish like that. Uh, 
<sighs> you need a not oxygen not included stream at some point? That'd be cool. Wow, black coral. A base ball. What? Oh, wow. I want my net gun back. Oh yeah, you can't. I don't think you can hurt those guys. Well, look who it is. his ass revenge oh one of them was to bring a narwhal up to the surface we, we had a goal to do that all right didn't even know that unintentional first try I guess more topaz let's go back and get that pickaxe hopefully it didn't despawn the poor beagle shark usually reaches eight feet in length damn well that boy was an extend mega extendo Cool, it does keep your guns. I want my net gun, though. Hey, the good thing is, though, now that we got so much room down here, and our inventory, we get a lot more fish back up to the, uh, up to the, uh, fish farm, which is nice. When you have a massive tusk jutting out of your mouth, you're bound to be mad, too. That's true. Have I eaten shark? No. I have not. Oh, a door? There's a stone slab with text in front of the door. I should take a picture of it and ask Dr. Bacon to decipher. All right. Okay. This picture is good enough. Let me go up and show Dr. Bacon. Alright, return to boat. I can do that. Soon. Have you considered trying only UO? Oh, unlimited oxygen? Yeah, that jellyfish up top was huge. Yeah, he was, that was a that was a big boy. So we got two photos now this time around. Well, right, let's go back and look for more fish. You mean only up? Have I considered trying it? Yeah, but um, I don't know if it's available on Steam anymore. I, I heard it was pulled from Steam. Oh man, I didn't see that one.
Oh, we're supposed to get 25 fish from here, so... Nice. What the hell's that? Oh, great. Oh, we're getting a little too deep here. We gotta get an upgraded suit to go that far. Looks like there's a volcanic area down here. Looks like it's getting warmer. Music down here is so good. Oh my god, what is that? Whoa. That's a no. What the hell was that? That's a no thank you. shark? How do you guys know that? Oh god, nope. Nope. Hey, point the other way, bro. Oh, there was only so many... No. Oh, this doesn't have ammo. I need that ice gun now to deal with them. Oh boy. I'm gonna need to slow him down. Oh, you know what? I don't have any more submarines, though, to extract him, but he'll obviously respawn next time. What the hell is that thing? O2's getting a little low. Alright, I'll go, I'll go for him if we can find a clam up top. This area is cool, man. This is the coolest area of the game. Oh, there's where the tree is. Um... I don't know where the roof is. So you need to calm down. Yeah, this ain't enough ammo to fight that guy. Let's find a mirror and get the hell out of here. We need to bail. 
Oh, there's a clam. I need to upgrade the sniper rifle to come down and take care of him specifically. Ah, uh, we got a little bit of room though. Now I'm gonna fight this guy. We're, we're gonna fight this guy. No, 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 you don't, pal. The Starry Skate. Actually, I think we found that before in uh, Dredge. Cool. Alright, let's get out of here. We're good. Alright, not bad. A very good run. Woo! Let's go back to boat. Maybe we'll talk to uh, Uber about what we found. Nope, Dr. Bacon showed up. Dr. Bacon, could you take a look at this picture? Oh, an ancient stone slab of the sea people. But it's very old and poorly weathered. No matter should be enough to run the decoding equipment with. Can you hold that picture for a moment? What the hell? Detective banger. Good. I can read them. How lucky. Oh, what a relief. What does it read? It seems to be some sort of spell? The letters are unfamiliar to me, so it's hard to decipher them clearly. Why don't you ask the sea people? There must be someone who has knowledge of cryptology or spells. Oh, the lady in the library. Maybe. An ancient spell that even Dr. Bacon cannot decipher. Hmm. 
I remember seeing many old books in the Sea People Temple. Nyamo may be of help. Nice. Oh, we got 33% of the ice gun. Nice. And the big old poor beagle shark. And probably lots of roe, too. Or not. Oh, yeah. Nice. Udo. Oh, yeah. The pictures we took. Uh, Rap, do you make a great detective? I saw a job opening for a lead detective in Chinatown. I bet you did. I bet you did. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Good way to start the day with the Raptor stream. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you guys for all the support. Appreciate it. All the likes, all the subscriptions, all the views, all the uh, sub memberships and stuff. It's awesome. So thank you. Oh, you brought a picture of something? Can I see? Oh, a giant jellyfish. The tentacles look like a lion's mane. Did you hear something growling? Just kidding. You can't hear anything underwater. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. 750-150. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Uh, still not me. I've been trying to hire myself, chat. We need to get new applicants. Still trying to unlock the grenade launcher, sticky bomb launcher, and ice gun. I think we crafted a sniper rifle, didn't I? I did. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait. Alright, let's go to the farm. Then we gotta go to the fish the fish farm too. Melting glacier. Ugh, we got weeds. Bro, I gotta buy some nutrients. Garlic ready. Throw the rest of our carrots. Alright, how do we get this damn nutrients up? Nutrient compost. The effect lasts a day and you can only use one kind of fertilizer at a time. Uh. Well, we gotta get nutrients up. So let's buy like... Oof. Maybe a thousand bucks. Oh, cool, you can use it in a huge area, nice. Okay, so the nutrients will go up. Oh, good thing I bought so many, we'll just do it every day. Hey, yo. Give me another free-range chicken, bruh. Oh! Right, we've been naming our chickens after the next person to click or tap join and become a member right now by hitting that big old blue join button down below next to the subscribe button. Look at how juicy and meaty and flavorful, savory that button looks. Mmm. Mmm. Raptor, did you see the Himeji Castle Lego model they'll release August 1st? Really? I've been to Himeji Castle, Osaka Castle, and Kyoto, I think. Those are really cool. I like Lego. Those are really neat. Oh, look at the... Oh, the character limit is 10 developers. Upgraded memberships count too, I guess. I am not opposed. Also, we can rename our chickens at any time, too. So I'll go with, um... We need a girl name. 
for this one. What's a what's a long girl name? Now nah, let's go with Stacy. <laughs> Nugget. All right, you know what? That's a good one instead. We'll go with Nugget for now. And once we get our next member, boom, free free chicken naming with every one. Well, the next new membership or upgrade. All right, let's go to the fish farm. Fish farm time. Oof. Wow, it's busy in there, damn. We're gonna be doing a lot of work today to upgrade all of our dishes, so I wanna send a lot of stuff to the to the lab, aka the kitchen. It sounds way cooler to call a kitchen a lab. Back to the lab. We can make a ton of money from these guys, but... I'm just trying to get everybody down to two. Or close to it. Back to the lab. <laughs> Henrietta, yeah. It's a good name. We need to get another great a uh, white tip reef shark. It'd be nice as if there was a there's buttons at the bottom here for like use all ingredients and sell all, but it'd be nice if you could like set a limit. Like sell all but two. Because if you if you sell them all, obviously you have zero left. If you sell all but one, they can't breed. But if you have two, then they can continuously make more. So, like, there should be an option to, like, sell all but... Or get rid of all but one. Or two. One of each. Back to the lab. Cool shark, I know. Pretty cool shark, bruh. Ooh, barracuda. Making this makes you want to have a tuna sandwich. Watching this makes you want to make a tuna sandwich. Really? I can see that. Okay, so I want to sell most of these. Or by sell, I guess I mean go to kitchen. Alright, we only got a couple of those from our last run. Hopefully we get more. A white shrimp. Those guys look cool. All right. Wait, can I buy any more? No. So it looks like there's three more areas in the game to unlock. All right, we're almost ready to start our day. Ooh, that's a lot of ingredients, man. Hmm. 
So we got to get a dish that has over 250. Yeah, we need 250 best taste. And right now, our best bet is the long nose saw shark at 203. But I also got a bunch more comb jellies, so. Wow, we need 51 of those guys? Jeez. All the ones that I captured in the first run would have gone right into the tank and would have helped us to get more, but, like, probably not that many. I'm gonna hold on to the tuna we've got for now. Well, let's only take the- oh, we need more eggs. All right, we're going for money today. All right, I think we can get about 30 dishes out of this one. Let's do the soup. The seahorse udon. Thirteen. We want to save. We're saving um, tuna. Hey, what's up, Casey? Welcome, man. Brah, dude, fam, squad. Welcome. Mhm. Mm yeah, we're still trying to find the secret to Jerry's egg fried rice. I think. I think I'm onto one of the ingredients. Is fried. But I don't know the other two. It might be rice. I'm not sure. I hope Jerry joins us today. Hey, the poor beagle. We could enhance that. Oh, here we go. Oh, it'll go to 214, bro. Let's do it. Give me the cutscene. Okay, this is going to be our best dish so far, then. We're close to 250. We just need to get more of those sharky boys. Don't suppose I could upgrade it again, could I? Oh, that'll be it. We got it. We're freaking platinum now, or whatever the next tier is. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hold on. Let's check the thingy. Chinese cuisine contest is going to make sure we need to have wheat for that. Worst case scenario, I'll buy some from uh, the farmer. We don't need that till tomorrow. Okay, so we just need to put it on the menu now. You played, uh, oh, you finished One Lonely Outpost yesterday and you're taking up Stranded Alien Dawn because Raptor played it so much. Awesome. Yeah, Stranded Alien Dawn's cool. And they've got a new map type now, a jungle, for the first time, so that's cool. All right, let's go. Let's get this on the menu. Or I already did. It's already on the menu. Okay. So we just need to serve it now. So we need more, though. More things on the menu. No, it's not on the menu. It's there. What do we got? 15. Okay, I'll add all of them. Okay, so that's, yep. Mm, I want a little. Mm. Could put a little bit more in there. Oh, we have narwhal sushi. Mm. We're purposely saving the tuna. 
I need more soy sauce. I'll put one of those on there. Which is five. So five, ten. Okay, that, yeah, that should be enough. Alright, research. Yellowfin tuna steak. Yeah, let's do that. Give me that cutscene. Hell yeah, brother. Nice. All right, and then on to staff. Need to try to hire myself again. So I'll try the TV ad again. Them levels up. Okay, I think we're ready to open. Let's go! Best part of the game right here. Customers is insane. It was a big day. Hell yeah, we just leveled up. Hey, not as much money as the previous days, but still good. We had those uh, extra boss meals there, so. But a much better, higher review. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll have to check our reviews. And the tuna party is today as well. Go back to the farm. Back to the farm. Uh -oh. Back to the farm. Yeah, I hope we get good Yelp reviews. Yeah, Hot Pepper Tuna incoming. Maybe he'll show up. Maybe Sammy will be there. 
We'll see. Hey, we got three eggs. Good. And our wheat's ready. Good. All right, let's use that nutrients again. Oh, I guess I can't. Looks like it's going up, though. All right, what can we get now? Hmm. I think we'll just grow more wheat. have to water once per day so like if we come back later in the day I think these will still be watered I don't think we have to water like morning evening and then night or whatever apparently these are just weeds I didn't know that well let me buy three more things what do we got Let's do more eggplant. With the vegetable uh, sushi. Okay. Ah, pepper tuna party. Let's go. All right, back to the boat. Then we got to do. Uh, uh, maybe we could sell some junk to. Uh, Hmm. Cobra, maybe? No bombs today. I'll take that, though. Carry more and dive deeper, I think. Air is pretty good. I still want to upgrade the harpoon gun, but... Other weapons kind of make it so we don't have to do that. We could get it, though, up to 32 damage. We really should. Yeah. Investigate dangerous gemstones. Defeat invasive starfish? I think they just mean collect. Defeat implies like freaking boss battle, yeah. But it's like, oh, there's no real boss battle. All right, we gotta get more sea grapes now. Oh, yeah, we upgraded on. Uh, oh, wow. Wait, what? Best taste 203 out of 250. What the? Didn't we have something on the menu that was over 260? The hell? Hmm. Well, regardless, it got us a lot of money. Um, show Niamo the content of the stone slab. So we got to go back to the sea people area. All right, back to the sea people area. I lost you at eggplant. 
I've never, I don't, I've probably had it, but I don't even know what it tastes like. Like, I've probably had it in a million things, but I wouldn't even be able to tell you what it tastes like. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I'm gonna go check out my seaweed first. Bum, bum. Hot pepper tuna. Yeah, Dave was running around that that restaurant like crazy last night. It was crazy. He was a busy boy. Hey, look at that. Got two of the talks, let's do kelp. Our Kajami and seaweed. I wonder if he'll sell more seeds now that we've discovered more. Or not him, but the other guy. All right, I want to see if the um, seed shop guy sells more seeds now that we discovered more stuff. To the lab. I'm glad that you cleared the path to the glacial area. I was able to get some seaweed seeds. Ah. Check these out. You can grow them at Gumo's farm. Ah, cool. Oh, do we get free stuff? Buck beans, southern bull, kelp seeds, and black coral seeds. Nice. So we got some freebies, I think. I want to buy another uh, plot, but it's 300. We might have to do some gambling, boys. Should we do some gambling? I'm gonna need everybody's help, though. Ah, oh, it's too much of a risk. Gambling's too risky. Hey, what's up, Jackson? I think let's just buy two of each. Do I like the mini games of the game? I do. I'm just gonna buy two of each of these and then we'll be back later. I need 300 bucks to unlock another farm field. It's super spendy. But when we go talk to this lady in the library, we might like get a quest complete, yeah, and then like get free money. Yeah, fruit slots. It's like my fruit slots. Still need to find one of those cookie cutter sharks. <laughs> Alright, we got what we needed. King Long Shrine. Uh, Swam? What are you doing here? Are you reading a book? Oh, are you surprised? My keen analytic abilities come from the books I read. Oh, long time no see, human. I was sorting books. How can I help you? Can you take a look at this picture? It looks like an ancient spell, but I can't understand what it means. Hmm. I can roughly understand it. Where was this lab located? In front of a large closed door in the glacial area. Hmm. I see. According to the book, there are three large doors in the glacial area. And inside those doors is a switch which will lead to the Divine Tree Control Room. I did an analysis and found that the earthquakes are caused by the Divine Tree Control Room. Activate all the switches and you'll be able to access the Divine Tree Control Room. It's not going to be easy. How am I supposed to open the big door? I have the materials referring to the door. Let me see. You need to cast a spell to open the door. I don't speak the language of the sea people. Of course not. Then why don't you bring Swum with you then? Uh, Swam, you say? Human, you could do nothing without me. Well, looks like you're in trouble. I'll give you a hand this time. I'm not sure about this. 
Best of luck. May King Long's protection be with you. Stop worrying about me. Just lead the way, human. Oh, fun. Mandatory mission. Ah, this must be the door. Well, am I supposed to cast the... Uh, I am supposed to cast the spell that Niyamo taught me. Watch and learn, Hugh man. Let's go. Let's get in this door. What the hell is he? Oh, my God. What is he doing? All right, that's one. There should be a switch in there. Wow, the door really opened. I'm impressed with him. Ah, now you realize my greatness. Said it was a spell... And you had to dance as well to open it? Uh, I needed to dance to keep with the beat. I got it. Shall we get inside and check out the place? My waist hurts from the dance. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone today, human. This guy. You wonder how many leagues under the sea I am? Uh, probably the National Football League. At least one of those. There must be a switch to operate the di divine control room inside. My gut feeling is the passage will cause me trouble, but I have no other choice. I need to be careful. Piece of strange rotating equipment is blocking my way. I think I can start it by myself. Oh, the equipment is working and the stake began moving. I must avoid them. Passage down there is blocked by ice. We should do something with the rotating equipment. table. seem to control the same. This will just go off to the left, so that's not good. Okay, I need to rotate the middle one independently, I think. Oh, okay, that does that one separately.
Okay. So we want to do more like this. Actually, it might work. <laughs> hey, there we go. Good, the ice is broken. Time to go on down. Nice. Grab a little air. Beautiful. Arctic telescope fish. That is, it's gonna poison me though. It looks like I can mine it. Oh, my, maybe it's sulfur or something. the statue of King Long, but looks somewhat strange. Its pose is different than the King Long depicted in the mural. Oh, you think it's uranium? Could be. I thought it was some sort of, like, uh, thermal vent, but yeah, you could be right. Wait, I think we want to make him face the front. Let's do that first. So it's just the arms. It looks like we want it low. Head to the left. And arm up. First try. Ah, those are the two other ones needed for the control room, the circle and the diamond. So each of these areas with the spell door kind of requires a little bit of a trial. Got it. Wow, this is really the ancient sea people technology. Impressive. I hear some noise from afar. Must be the first contraption Niamo told me about. Boss battle, possibly, maybe. Oh, it's light. Big brain emote, yeah. Brain so big it broke the room. That path is open now. Let me return to the village and tell Tenzin about this. And I'm hungry. I 
like blocking the light. Pew, pew. Go to new region. Those music uh, beats in the glacial area just are awesome. All right, we can go back to Tenzin, but. Oh, I think I forgot to buy the extendo box from uh, Cobra to carry more stuff. Hi, sir. Get him out of here with the sub. Now what I really want to do is fight the big boy. What's up, Eat Music? Welcome to the Big O Stream on oh, another Ice Gun. Wait, what? Oh, gra wait, Gravity Launcher? What the hell? Modified to use the suction power of a wolf eel, sucks in nearby creatures, then explodes. Oh, damn. Does the sub have mayo and mustard on it? I hope so. Here's our friend. Oh, nice. Dude, that's the best weapon in the game. Freaking locks the bosses in place. Damn. Dude, that's the best weapon in the game. Stun lock. <laughs> oh, you need that to beat him. Chad said this is the Greenland shark. Let's see. That's awesome, man. Yep. Good job, Chad. time down here.
and find a clam or something. This area is really open. There's one. Have I seen a shark in the wild while diving? Um, not that I think it was a shark. I mean, you know, technically maybe there was like a big fish that looked like a shark. It maybe was a shark, but I don't remember. All right, let's get null. Nullris. Let's dance, homie. Oh my god. Whoa. He's mad. What is this? Capelin. Oh man. Bro, you're supposed to go over and die. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Alright, I'm not fighting the Norwal anymore. Oh my god. Hey, Alaskan Pollock. I'm not fighting him anymore. Uh, do Dave's friends at the bar know about his underwater adventures? Oh, yeah. He tells everybody. I mean, I mean, he's the dude who brings in everything. For sure. Okay, we need to go chat with the sea people. Crops have all grown again. Okay, we gotta go back. Oh, I gotta... Well, I'll do the phone thing later. Wow, the narwhal? No joke, dude. Super fast and mega hitbox. And big damage. Even with the gravity gun. Alright, let's complete this quest. The contraption built by our ancestors is difficult to operate, and it seems that something caused the contraption to malfunction. I know it's not right to get you involved in matters of ours, but please do help us. The earthquakes are not only your problem. Humans are suffering from them, too. We'll find out the cause. Thank you. May the blessings of King Long be with you. Niamo told me the story of the Divine Tree Control Room. It's malfunctioning and causing earthquakes, yes? Oh, yes, I need to operate three switches to enter the control room. I already activated one. Well done. I'm ashamed of our people having to rely on you in this matter. Uh, please don't be. The earthquakes are a problem for us, too. I remember something that was written in the ancient books after some workers mutated the Gadons to, uh, due to Engineer Dash's schemes. My ancestors created switches to access the control room and disappeared into the glacial areas. They caused those switches to tighten security, but uh, they turned them into obstacles now denying access to the control room. It's still cold, but the heat coming from the ground is melting the ice. Maybe the control room is overheating, causing the water temperature to rise. Stabilize the device, and the water temperature will return to normal. I know it's rather implied of me, but please hurry before our ancestral home is completely destroyed. There are two doors remaining. I'll try locating them. Yeah, we got 200 bucks. I knew we would get money. All right, good. Now we can go buy another farm. Hi, chat. I see a lot of people tuning in and saying hello, so hello to you. You haven't found it yet. Where did you search? Search the whole village, but no luck. What's going on? Oh, Dave. I think the beluga has suddenly gone missing. If he's not in the village, he could be gone to the other side of the glacier passage through the door. He's a very curious kind, you know. You didn't hide him, did you, human? Why would I? All right. 
I'll let you know when I find him. Thanks. Uh, where are you guys going? Find the beluga. Okay, so the beluga went missing. Great. Now we gotta go find that. Now eh, we'll probably find him in one of the other control rooms or something. Alright, let's do our farming. No more Norwal battles, dude. No more. First time I didn't know. Second time it was like, alright, I got a, I got like the best weapon in the game. I just killed a Greenland shark with it. I can't lose. Now it's like, okay, well. Clearly the narwhal is the final enemy boss. Let's buy another farm field. Oh, it takes a day. Oh, okay. We'll have to come back later. Blow the whistle? I don't think he'll come. Oh, there he is. That's a manatee, not a beluga. Looks very slow. But I have no choice. Oh, <laughs> oh they changed it for this part. And they even changed the uh, symbol for it, I think. Hilarious. Bye, buddy. Alright, back to the glacial area for my revenge. Actually, I could just use the mirror, I think. Ah, uh, chat, this, this area is tough. Hey, we can hold 125 kg now, though. Dude, I think that's a Greenland shark. Oh, it's cold. Human, your clothes look very warm. Why don't you go inside and take a look? You're weaker than you look. Oh wait, you want me to go down? Oh, I was just coming here to get fish, but alright, I guess we're on a quest. No, you don't. F off. Well, don't want nothing to do with you, pal. Look at that speed, the mega extendo range. The swipe at the end. Look at this guy, he's just still chasing me. Guy's an absolute fiend. A degenerate criminal. The narwhal's a degenerate criminal. I don't want him going to sea jail. See he. Eat music, you're enjoying some coffee? Good. Yeah, I made a new friend, yeah. One I don't want to have. Well, to be fair, it's two to one. I'll get my revenge eventually. So we're here to see if the beluga came in here. Or he could be in anywhere. I mean, I don't know. No, what the hell? Whoa. That is a huge sow bug. It must be a species called the Bath Bathonomus? Gamager of the deep sea. It looks bigger than I thought. It's a rare encounter. Let me take a picture of it. Oh, I, thought that was, I thought that was the beluga. Take a picture of three creatures at once. Of 
cool. Gotta upgrade the knife. Leafy Sea Dragon. Okay. That's what I kept seeing up in that corner of the map. Where's the beluga? You're glad you can watch the stream today? Well, welcome. Nice to be streaming for the the chatty chatters and the quiet quieters, the lurky lurkers. Blueberry bush emotes for all of our viewers watching. Never say anything. But we know you're there, and that's cool. It's totally fine. that net were a little bigger. I don't know if the beluga's in here or not, but coming back in here gave me some bonuses. we go back. say something but you always smash like why thank you yeah the music here is very nice I do agree this level reminds you of the water temple in Oceana of time oh yeah the ocarina of time Oceana I'm in the ocean What is this gun? Maybe we'll get another ice gun. Ooh, harpoon. You hope this game comes to PS4 someday? Yeah, it should definitely be able to go on PS4. It should be everywhere. Sharknado, please. How the hell did that not hurt him? 
him right into his head. But I'm not really looking for a fight, I'm looking for a beluga. fight the Greenland without that gravity one. Maybe this will be the gravity gun. We also get more row seeds if we er, seeds <laughs> eggs I guess we get more eggs that way no seeds so we can grow them fish are plants because they grow in water and that's the way the world works brother any question holy moly are these ancient creatures they must have been released from the melting glacial ice I wonder if those are any of oh wait oh I wonder if those are any of uh, use Tabantra to sushi place. Bring samples if I catch any of them. What are you talking about? These? Oh. Wait, I feel some heat coming up. I can't go down further now. Oh, I can't. I can't go down. Alright. You need some hot pepper tuna? Yeah, that's what's down there. That's what's heating up the glacial ice. Shock sniper. Ooh. Man, I gotta get my knife upgraded now. Not always lucky to find a pickaxe. Where is this beluga?
Hey, what's up, Ginger Fox? Welcome. Alright, let's go for this mineral. There he is. Hey, we found him. He's he's napping, I think. Are you napping, buddy? I hope. Oh, beluga. Why is it here? Oh, he got poisoned. Oh, is that an Antarctic octopus? Venomous may be poisoned. I'm not letting you go. Whoa. That's a boss battle. Oh, is this one of the new, uh... Oh, he's scared now. I cornered this one. It does look pitiful up close. No, I can't be weak now. I'll show it who's bossed. Harvest or rescue? Now we'll rescue him. Oh, what's this bottle? The octo octopus dropped it. Antidote, perhaps? I should get it back to the beluga. Oh. Current's too strong to enter. I don't even know where the beluga was. Hey, Poglad. I'm gonna go down for the beluga, but I'm just curious to see what's up. There's that one mineral that's down. Premium edition for farm sim coming soon? Premium edition. Oh, it, doesn't premium edition combine platinum and... Wait. I thought once they did their platinum edition, that was pretty much it. And then they maybe released some other DLCs vehicle-wise, but then moved on to a new game. Is premium something else? We gotta get back on the farm, but I gotta get you and Rick, like, there every day. It won't be fun without it. Belugas! Oh, you don't look well. Uh, let's see. You don't look well. 
do you want to try this? Oh, he's giving him uh, 151 rum. Now you're good. Oh, you look better now. I'm relieved. Uh, why don't you return to the village? You can get there alone, right? Now that I found the beluga, I should explore some more. For sure. Alright, let's go up top. Uh, basically pre platinum, but... Oh, a new map. Crops, machines, new fa... Oh, okay. Alright. So it's like... It's like they're going double platinum. So platinum edition, but like times two. Another one. Ah, that's cool. Wait, wasn't there a mineral down? Maybe I should go back down. I got the mineral is like down to the left, I think. Because I had to go up to get the box. Carrot, parsnips, and red beets. Ooh. Aquamarine. Set up a perimeter, aquamarines. Stay frosty. Oh, thank you, Tan. Well, actually, um, yeah, I, I made a zip folder last night, Tan. I'm going to start labeling them by dates from now on. Uh, but I have yet to upload it to our, our box. Uh, when are we going to play a game with She Fox again? Oh, whenever she's around. Um, she's busy this weekend. So it'll be soon. So instead of playing Anno 1800 this weekend, we're going to play City Skylines Multiplayer with Bradford. The mod that we played last time worked pretty well, but we were missing uh, kind of an add-on to that mod that made it even more stable. So me and Bradford are going to give it another try today. And I want to play a lot more City Skylines because City Skylines is fun, but with the second one coming out, we need to play more. Is This, this seems weird. It looks like there's... That could be broken. Hmm. You're going on a spiritual healing chakra rebuilding course in 12 days. You can't wait. Yeah, I remember when I could take vacations. Those were fun. Uh, that's a dead end too, but we do get free O2. Mandatory fun for Chief Fox. Well, today's date is Brad. Look, I, I don't get to play with Bradford. Like, pretty much every night, Lumberjack, Dirty, and Red are available. Pretty much. But I rarely get to play. I rarely get to play with Jerry. And Bradford a little, a little bit more. But anytime we can play something with Jerry, especially because he likes them first and third person shooters, we'll play those. So tonight we're going to take our a look at the new DLC for um, Aliens. It's not a new DLC, but it's the newest DLC, and I haven't seen it before, so it's like the newest one. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. You'll be there. Have I seen the trailer for Hyperlight Breaker? Uh, that sounds like a... Is that like a VR game? That sounds like it'd be a VR game. Premium edition, yep. Yeah. New map, Zilonka, Central Europe. Well, we gotta get She Fox in for that one. Hold on, just cause I'm. Just cause I hate this guy. What? 
He... Bro, he attacked through the... Oh my god. He attacked through the... The harpoon. Facing the left way. F you. Alright, now we're even. We can still haul the 125 more kg. All right, there should be a hole in the roof somewhere. Oh, Hyperlight Drift? Oh, bre oh, Breaker is the sequel to Drifter. Okay. Hmm. Could be. Oh, there's the entrance. Back to the sea, people. Check in with them since we completed their quest for the one lady. Oh, we're supposed to talk with the farmer? Seems like I'd like those games. Okay. Always down to play more games. I think pretty soon, chat, the way things are going on the internet is that we can't really just get away with having one channel or anything anymore. Because it just bottlenecks my creativity with YouTube. We're going to have to start expanding and doing new things on the other channel. It was supposed to be a shorts channel, but the shorts go so well here. I think we're going to do like a... We could do more defined series over on the other channel. But I'm not, you know, I'm not like a dude. He's making five less videos a week or something. Oh, dude. Or five, five less streams a week, dude. He's abandoned. No, I'm just going to go somewhere else because YouTube's dumb. You can't do everything on one channel anymore. They want you to have multiple. Like, they kind of, you know, it's like, you know, you don't have to work, but then you can't eat is one of those things. Like, dude, dude we, live, we live in a free world, man. You're free to not work and die. Like, that's how it goes. Where did it go? What happened, Gumo? Oh no, the manatee's baby just suddenly disappeared. Oh, now I gotta find a damn manatee baby? Oh, that's a big problem. The manatee's mom is also worried things are getting out of hand. Do you have any ideas? Maybe it saw the beluga and went to the glacial area. Kind of a suspicious place. I'll go check it out. Thank you, human. I'll be waiting. Now I gotta, damn it, I gotta play babysitter? Uh, take a look around the glacial area. All right, then. Take me down to Manatee City. But I know chat will follow me wherever I go. Second channel, we should do that. Really, you should have, like, uh, three channels, really. No, maybe four. This channel... Then a channel where we could upload these uh, VODs or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Now we're looking for a baby manatee. How many clones will I need then? I don't know. At least one. There's 
lightning rifle. I need the gravity gun for him. The food channel, yeah. Alright, now we're on the lookout for a baby manatee. Oh, the baby manatee. Oh, the crying sound, I should go to where it's coming from. Sounds like it's up here. like to really do chat, chat is um, I'd like to make higher quality videos but I don't really have the uh, I'd like to see somebody else's style and have them edit for me oh I know we're gonna drop that rock where that crack was I knew it looked suspicious now there's suddenly a rock here looks like the entrance was blocked after the baby went in maybe I can break with something yeah. I knew it But Chad, I'm going to have to become a Wowa, you know? Every video is going to have to open up with the swoosh. Going to have to be very excited and talk about myself. Yeah. Guys, I inherited my uncle's farm where I'm going to be growing parsnips. Whoa! Oh my god! You know, that kind of thing. Alright, it's open. Let's go inside. I spent a hundred days on a parsnips farm in not minecraft and this happened dot 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 oh my god this video series has changed my dna like that guy in prometheus oh my god something like that all right baby manatee where are you i actually went i went back and watched prometheus because aliens uh Dark Descent was so good. Aliens Dark Descent was so good that I went back to watch Prometheus recently, and we're playing Aliens um, Fireteam Elite today, because Aliens... <laughs> Imagine making a game so good that it makes people want to go back to play other games of the same genre, and also, like, some of the movies. Like, damn. There's a baby manatee in there. It looks scared. We need to calm it down. Alright. Let's calm him down. Uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be my child. No? Okay. I'll have to closely watch his reaction while petting him. Let's try again. Go, buddy. Well, I'm happy to report chat. We're probably not going to die again to the narwhal. Yeah, it's a big old kitty. See, this would be a great spot for our kitty emote. Uh, we just got to knock out that member goal of a hundo. Need a hundred members for it. 
All right, to calm down a bit, shall we head out? Is he going to follow me? Oh, no, we're going to be attacked on the way out. All right, I'm g I'll get the gun, brother. I'm going to set up a perimeter. I knew Ah, oh, you mother effer! Oh, damn it, I knew it. Oh, the narwhal. He heard me talking smack. Hold on. Taking the shot. It blasts Dave back to the left. Oh, that damn manatee. BS. BS attack. See you in hell. Alright. Cut his ass up. Oh, they knew it. Good, now I'm winning. Alright. Okay, well, that's fine. There's a shark in here, too. I think I'm going to have to take the shark down to get out of here. Alright, I don't mind the shark so much. Stun locked. Man, that was really fast. Did you see that? Okay, I guess we can leave now. Oh, now there's going to be a narwhal taped to a narwhal. Uh oh, super thick now. I can't take it. Alright. Well, now I'm as fast as the amenity. Steam is going to ban in India? Wait. India is going to ban Steam? Alright, well. Say goodbye to a uh, hundred trillion dollars in tax dollars, India. How long did I watch Flipper earlier? Me? Uh, I haven't watched Flipper in a while, but. Wait, you mean our friends Flipper, or you mean the the movie? Because both I haven't seen in a while, but I love them. You know how to get back? Get back safely to the village. All right, cool. No more trouble. Now we gotta get the mirror and get the hell out of here. No narwhals, no nothing. Just gotta find a mirror. Oh, the music here is pretty. Here, maybe? No? Now we might have to go out through the top. Just no, no, no narwhals. Thank goodness we had this gun. This gun saved us, man. This sniper rifle that does 60 damage. All right, Dave, go, go, Dave, go. Hey, people. Yeah. 
All right, we're good. All right, now we got to go back to the guy. Yeah, we escaped unscathed. Good. Yeah, that was a lot of danger. That was a lot of danger, Chad. Yep. Bro, we took out a narwhal, then another narwhal, then a shark. Then we were avoiding sharks. That area is dangerous as hell. Okay. I think we're done. Looks like there's some cages up there. I wonder if there's something else we can do for deep sea farming. Great, it got back safe. It went all by itself to the glacial area. Children, whether human or animal, are full of curiosity. I'm glad to see the mom is now at ease also. Human, you have a really good sense of smell. Well, I didn't actually find it with my nose. Anyway, here's something for my gratitude. Oh, hell yeah, some money and seeds. Thanks, Brad. Let's check out the farm. All right, back to the mirror. Does the game have any bears in it yet? Bro, narwhals are the bears of the sea. It's like a bear armed with a a spear. You think that'll be a special DLC? Oh, maybe. Hey, if this game gets DLC, I'm happy with that. I hope it does, because I'd love to see, like, a extra story or more of Cobra or something like that. Don't need to get that cookie cutter shark, but whatever. It'll happen eventually. Back to the boat. Gun two out of three. Uh, let's see. Now yeah, we'll add that to food. All right, we got a big O event coming in tonight, boys. Udo. Oh, you brought a picture of something? Can I see? Yeah, it's gross. A so bug. I remember often seeing it in my backyard. Did you take a picture at my place? Oh, it's underwater. I see now. Yes, it's a bathynomos. I'm sure of it. It's a fresh change of the usual pictures of fish. I need to send it to the editor-in-chief right away. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Hey, ooh, good money. There are photo spots all over the place. Indeed there are. Dude. Hmm, chat. Maybe a change of plans. Jerry told me that Hunt Showdown just got the big old gator boss. Bro, it's Co-Carnage again and Jane? Where the hell am I? I I've gotten Co-Carnage like 14 times, bro. I can't hire myself. They've, they've scammed me out of the game. They patched me out. Maybe one day. Can't heal them while it's nighttime, I guess. Okay, uh, let's go to the farm. Yeah, I'm gonna try a TV ad next. Well, TV ad lets us get four, but I've been trying to mix things around, so we'll see. Big old gator boss, now you pique my interest. Yeah, well, I wanted to play Alien Fireteam Elite because, you know, aliens, but. I like Hunt Showdown a lot, and so does Jerry and 
See, tonight I plan to only play with Jerry and Bradford because I don't often get to play with them, but we could switch it around. Mr. Fork and Knife himself. Jerry, don't swear. Don't swear in the chat, Jerry, with your emotes. Mods, keep an eye on this one. All right, let's go back to the farm and the stuff. Okay. All right, Jerry, we'll, we'll play Hunt Showdown. Uh, it's going to have to be the midday. So chat, in this area, we've got half the ingredients for Jerry's fried rice. We, ha we have rice over here, and then the chickens over there give us egg. So, I think these are already watered. Yeah. I'm gonna have to tell Bradford though, uh, so he can have it ready. Or actually, no, we'll, <clears throat> we'll play it tonight, Jerry, tonight, sorry, tonight. Not the midday. Unless you want to play City Skylines with us. Also, with the Steam sale going on, Jerry, um, and everybody, there some of the games we're going to play this week, it might be a good time to get some DLCs and or new games in general, too. So everybody who uh, has been wanting to play something with me or whatnot... Definitely make sure you check out what we've been playing lately, and if, if we don't play it, like, soon soon, we'll probably play it, event like, eventually. We got some big favorites on the channel. Hmm. I'm gonna grow some more carrots. More eggplant. And then I'll buy more wheat seeds. But probably won't have the space for those. Got to get the fried. Yeah, we're we're trying to find that. We think it's deeper in the ocean, maybe close to the volcanic level. Imagine that. Jerry Jerry puts rice and egg into a bag and then swims to the volcanic bottoms of the ocean. To then make his egg fry. Oh, maybe the sea salt's what makes it it hits different. To the fish farm. Alright, let's go through all these. My own homemade egg fried rice is nothing like the original version, but still tasty. Yeah, I feel like we all got our own version of classics, which is totally fine. Like, if you're cooking for yourself, you know, it's like, oh, dude, that's not how you make it. Yeah, but if, you know, if you like it, then make it that way. Make your food the way you want. Oh, speaking of fried egg. Oh, maybe that's how G Jerry makes it. Oh... That's how it's done. We're on to you now, Jerry. You gotta grow rice at the rice farm, and then you gotta go down to the ocean to get a fried egg jellyfish, and then you somehow mix the two together. I'm on to you, Jerry. I'm on to you. A bunch of more eels. Now you're craving to cook rice, yeah. Yeah, rice is really nice. It, it's, you know, there's so many different rice types too, and so many different things you can just make with rice. Sometimes the most simplest of meals are the best, like a little white rice and chicken.
can be nice. Wait, there was one that was a three, wasn't there? Yep. The Barracuda. Oh, there's only one comb jellyfish there. I accidentally sold all these boys. Damn it. In one of our last streams, I accidentally hit E, and then it, like, put... It either sold them all or put them all in the kitchen, and I didn't want to do that. Actually... Actually, it was probably okay with the... Yeah, we're going to have to go to the seed people and go up and get jellyfish sometime. Narwhal, kill it. Kill it before it lays eggs. Chris with the 25 months as a Raptor Plus. Thank you very much, dude. Happy 4th of July to you. And Canada. Happy Canada Day to y'all Canadians up there. Dude, I should play uh, Mon Bazoo. It's like My Summer Car, but for Canada. I want there to be more My Summer Car knockoffs, you know? I know people will screech, this is just My Summer Car. But My Summer Car was so amazing. I feel like every nation on Earth could get a My Summer Car version. I'd love to see it. <laughs> A Japan version of My Summer Car, but based on, like, you know, like, what what would it be like if you're, like, a 19-year-old, you know, Finnish guy, which that's kind of what that simulates, or Mon Bazoo, that kind of thing. Love those games. All right, tonight's the big sushi cook-off. Yeah, My Summer Car is ridiculously funny, cool, and, like, it, it it's, the, it's like playing a PlayStation 1 game that... Everybody loves. I love that. Okay, so we're ready to go to the big O. It's Tuna Fest tonight, boys. Tuna Fest. And we also have to do the Chinese... What is it called? The Cuisine Contest. Yes. New member, welcome! Ah... Yeah, Mon Bazoo is good, yep. I want to play that again. It's been a long time. I played it when it like was just starting to pop off, but... I think the best time to play a game is... Um, well, multiple times. Like, for example... Everybody wanted to play... Uh, you know, you, everybody wanted to play... Subnautica. When it first came out. And then it came out in chapters. Then everybody wanted to play it after it was released. And then it still gets updates. So it's like, it's almost worth a play. It's different every year you play it. Hello, everyone. This is Yui from NDC Station. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the showdown and the challenge of the chef. Bancho, are you ready? Of course. And Wang Pang? The same. I can't wait. Excellent. Let the challenge the chef. Uh, let's begin the challenge the chef now. What the hell is that? Challenge Diamond the Chef. I, I feel like that's a typo or something. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Oh, is this going to be a mini game? Oh, no way. Let's go. Dragon versus the Tiger. Let's go. Are we going to have to do something? Oh, for real. Oh, for real. We got to play for real. Oh, this is going to be epic. Pancho will compete with the famous chef in a new TV show. Let's bring him the ingredients he asked for. Prep carrot. Three, two, one. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Oh, S? Oh, okay. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that was interesting. Okay. Coat with starch, go. Okay, we're coding, we're coding. time. Whew, okay. Fry the fish in oil. Oh my god. Verify the ingredients. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. Go, baby, let's go. Also, I like when, before we started this contest, it was like, dude, not all Chinese cooking is about stir-fry, and then, like, we're stir-frying. <laughs> but stir-fry is good. Oh, damn, his looks good. Is that, is that roe? Roe dumplings? Oh, we kicked ass. Hell yeah. Now let's box. Oh. Oh, we got damn near perfect score. Either 99 or 100 is probably the top score. Sweet and sour stargazer. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, no. I lost, but I'm the best chef in Hong Kong. Of course, your dish was excellent, Wang Pang. You used the finest ingredients for flawless taste, but it wasn't good enough to impress me. But Bancho's dish gave me a whole new experience with a fish called Stargazer. To be honest, it was my first time tasting the fish. Bancho gave me the perfect blend of the interesting fish and taste of Stargazer, and the classic taste of sweet and sour sauce. For talking only about the taste, yours was better, better Wang Pang, but I highly admire Bancho's attempt to present foreign taste in a familiar way. My final verdict is Bancho. Congratulations. Vincent clearly explained the reason for his decision. Bancho wins the match. Bancho, what are your thoughts? My thoughts? I wanted to present the... Oh, thank you, Bancho. The champion saves the words for more action. We, we, we love it. Today's winner of the challenge chef is Bancho, defending champion. Uh, what a, com a competition, what a judgment. See you next time. This was Reporter Yui. Oh, now we got to do the tuna event. Big night. It's a big night. Big night. Big night. Amazing, Bancho. You bested Wang Pang in the area of expertise. Hmm, who cares about nationality when it comes to food? Flavor is fair game. Why do I have this f uh, feeling that the show will return again? I have confidence in your victory. Speaking of contest, I got some new inspirations for Chinese cuisine while preparing the competition for the competition. I'll write them down. Help me try something new when you have time. Mm -hmm. A thousand gold and fifty likes. Hell yeah! Big. I swear, if I get Co Carnage one more time, I love Co, but come on. They really want me to hire. It's at a certain point, I'm just gonna have to hire them. Oh, 
Well, it's going to cost 1300 to train her? Damn. Probably hold on to a little bit of my cash. I'll do the 400 though. Okay, uh, let's do that menu. The Tuna Yacht Party is today, so what does that mean, though? High-class tuna dishes. Okay. Let's focus on that. Let's upgrade that one a bit. Oosh. Cool. Greenland shark. Uh, let's see. So, bluefin tuna rice bowl. Is there a way to sort by a type? Obtain. I think we should do this one. Hmm. I want to enhance that, but then we won't have a lot for leftovers. Okay, we can get these to level four. So there's tuna here, and then there's tuna here. One produces six, actually. Tuna. Bumblebee tuna. Five of those. You're also in love with this game? Good. Good game. It's going to be a long night. I'll put 10 up. And another 10 of the other one. All right, any other tuna? Tuna will be a little bit more expensive. There's some yellowfin tuna. Hmm. I 
165. Gotta go on the list. Okay, I think we're good to go. Tuna Fest. Yeah, so we got over like. 30 different things. Okay. Blobfish spring rolls. Oh boy. Uh, we'll wait until it gets more artists in flame. Um. Oh, investigate. See people. take forever to get to level four. Ah, oh, there we go. An eco gemstone bracelet. Level five is an eco waterproof bag. That might allow us to carry more stuff. Maybe it gives us like a free extra carry capacity or something. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, ready? One's in the chat if you're ready for this bad boy to open. One's in the chat if you're hungry. One's in the chat if your body, your mind is ready. Go. It begins. Let's go. Wasabi's getting critically low. Mad, hurry, give them their food. Okay, good, we just got it. Didn't mean to hit that. William. Our schedule's down below in the description. It's in the uh, description of every video and exclamation point schedule too in the chat. You should be able to see it there too. Welcome aboard. Four artists in flame. Hey, we made more money than yesterday. All right. Beautiful. Hell yeah, brother. One's in the chat. Yeah. A Saturday. Oh, I have to enter the cave with an outflowing current to turn 
on the second control room switch. Is there a way to enter the cave? The crypt may be weaker today. I should go check. Oh, magically now. Yeah. Can I have a moment with you? Oh, you're the reporter. Do you need help with something? Thanks for your help, boss. Uh, oh, thanks for your help. My boss entrusted me with the new project. I'm sure a promotion will be in order. Anyway, tell me, have you seen an extremely novel fish inside the giant blue hole? Uh, there's fish from many different locales in there. What do you mean by novel? Uh, particular fish. No sort one has ever discovered before. Our magazine has a secret weapon. The fish radar tells us the blue hole is a treasure trove of undiscovered species. My weekly fish... Uh, we at Weekly Fish are planning on a series of specials over the next few months to showcase the precious new fish. It's called Catch Them All Project. Alright. Po the Pokemon Project? We can all... We can research the fish on weekdays... And if you catch a specimen for us over the weekend, they'll be featured in specials that'll be published every Monday. Me? Catch them? Yeah, you're the kind of only diver in these parts, aren't you? I'm not really following your logic. And in any case, as long as we have the issues ready by Monday, you'll have to catch the specimens by Sunday evening at the latest. Alright. Isn't that tomorrow? That's just too sudden. Now then, let's get down to business. The fish we spotted with our radar this week was... The humphead parrotfish. Oh, it's mutant fish. A, ho a horned parrotfish? It's never seen anything like that. Location is close to the boat wreck. That's what I can detect. Oh, and I'll give you this fish tracker. If there's fish mon, you'll need to catch nearby. It'll vibrate and play a sound. Okay. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Guess what this device can do? It allows you to see all the information about the fish while you're diving in the water. You can see the best grade fish and how many fish you have in the restaurant, fish farm, and more. Mm. Is that right? How is that possible when I didn't link the device yet? Uh, by the way, good luck. That's till Sunday or tomorrow evening to be precise. All this sudden work for a magazine. Come to think of it, I think I've seen the boat wreck in passing. Yeah, you got into the boat wreck multiple times. <clears throat> Strange creatures will sometimes appear in the giant blue hole. They're called Fishmon and are anything but easy to catch. Get the information from the journalist who comes on Saturdays. So you have two days to catch a special fish. Got it. From now on, you can use the fish tracker underwater with the tilde key. Use the device to count the number of ingredients from the fish farm, sushi restaurant, and check the grade of the fish you catch while you're still in the water. Oh, that should just be a basic feature without a special device. I'm going to go to the farm. Oh, we got two eggs. Excellent. 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 Exactly what I was hoping to see. No water? Where am I supposed to get water from? Okay, I found some. Yeah, we gotta find me as one of the new candidates. Hope we find me soon. fish thing tonight after we catch new ones. Hmm. Okay, so the boat wreck means we shouldn't dive too deep. So we're have to we're having to dive shallow and deep, but I think we can start low and go high. Now we can, we'll start at the top. We're short on getting another 
harpoon gun. Ah, more sushi. I mean, uh, more tuna that we can get from that. Man, he really doesn't buy anything for good prices. Hmm. The jade fish statue might sell for more down in the in the depths. Damn, so we're a little short on... Oh. Oh, oh, oh what is that thing? That's a giant death turtle. Nope. Oh, yeah. We have that new... Um, we have a new charm. Increases the amount of minerals acquired by mining. Oh. Increase poison resistant, reduce damage. Oh, we could do that. Reduce damage by 10%. Dash speed was good, though, because it let us avoid stuff. I think that's better. Yeah, I think this is still a good setup. Yeah, we got a weapon charm. Man, I don't know what I want next. Harpoon gun to 40 would be good, but I feel like we should just use Duff to upgrade some of the other weapons now. And use the harpoon gun as kind of like a, a backup. I want to upgrade the dive knife, but... Um, hmm. Oh, the suit is upgraded to its max now. I think we should go for air. Yeah. That'll just let us stay down longer. And time is money, really. Let's go. Yeah, we can mine with our knife already, but only in shallower depths. I want to upgrade the knife too, but we could do that next. Let's get these... Uh, we got to go for tuna first, and then we got to find the uh, parrotfish. But I think I know where he is already. What's up, Elvin? No tuna.
New stuff at the top. Seaweed, that's good. Whoa, what the hell? Schools of fish can attack like that? Striped catfish. Damn, I didn't know they were dangerous like that. They're not even marked. All sorts of new fish. Oh, Dave, that's the one. Please catch it without killing it. Are you sure, brother? Boss battle, frickin' boss battle here. You're coming at me now. Super scary. Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to use one of these then. What? All right, well, we're gonna need a trank gun then. Now he, he's immune to that one. Nope, he broke out of the steel net too. Damn it, that was for tuna, you jerk. We're gonna need to trank him. All right, and that gun is worthless. Everything just can cut through it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to find a Trank gun for him. Oh, uh, man. This will be interesting. Everything's trying to kill me. Whoa. 
basic underwater rifle. close. I guess we just need to get lucky and find a Trank Gun or make one now. Oh, we'll have to go back up top. What the hell are these guys? Freaking Piranha. It's unlocked. It's unlocked. that goal. Ah, <sighs> man. Yeah, cat catfish, that's a kitty. That's right. It's a kitty. Start. All right. That might work. Oh, great, a hammerhead. Let's go for that guy. See if we can put him to sleep. Bedtime. Dude. Striped catfish are just Norwal babies. They just hate me. That gun won't work. Not on this guy.
Shot him three times with the hush gun, nothing. Got him with the steel traps, nothing. Got him with the net gun, nothing. We must need a very particular weapon, like... Or maybe he's immune to being shot from the front, but... Yeah, he must have frontal armor or something then. Wait, do we have, like, info on him? Where's this weird guy? Wait, maybe there's a tab for weirdos. It's wearing a tough bone helmet that blocks all frontal attacks. Well, I would have known that before. However, I will say that the whole... the bombs that we dropped earlier... You know, to net him, that wasn't necessarily really a frontal weapon. Alright, let's use the net gun again. We'll try to shoot him from behind. Frontal attack. Oh my God. Let's see if we can get him up against this wall. Gotta be a trank dart from behind. The rifle would be nice because then we could just shoot him without him seeing us. find a trank gun. So this would make us a lot of money, this guy here. I'll need to save one sub for the uh, other fish. If we can even find a trank dart this time. Otherwise, we'll just have to make one or we might have one.
There we go. Ooh, hush start level two. Nice. All right, chat. We're in business. Let's get this guy. Hmm. Grab this stuff too. Ask and ye shall receive for sure. Oh, there was the hush gun right there. All right, if we find more ammo, I think there was actually ammo up here, so I think we're okay. All right. Yeah, of course, it's next to the freaking shark. I want to try to run him into the wall. If I can just, like, get behind him. Oh, there's a dart in him. It's stuck in his tail. You can see it. fall asleep. Let me get more ammo. Can I just knock him out melee style? If I... If I just knock him out with my harpoon and then pick him up with the salvage sub, is that... That's not him... The guy told us not to kill him, but like... I think this fish is big enough to where if we if we do enough damage, he'll float, and then we have the option to either cut him up or salvage him with the sub. Does sal is salvaging with the sub? I can't trank him. I can't. I can't really do anything with him. I've shot him so many times. I mean, we can get a Trank um, Harpoon, but... I mean, that's so RNG, you can't even craft those. Full mission list doesn't even have the full list. Parrotfish, wearing a tough bone helmet that blocks all frontal attacks. But I've shot him in the boat with the trank like four or five times. Trank harpoon is probably the best bet. Yeah, we'd have to get lucky with that. The only thing I could think of is to quote unquote kill him. Like knockout and then salvage. I don't know. Oh, the fish mount is unconscious. Oh, he's unconscious now? Oh, what the... F All you had to do was shoot him from the back with the harpoon once? Bruh. Okay, whatever. That, that could be a little better explained. 
or there should be multiple ways to do it. Like, hit you know, hit him with a bat from behind, like a, a melee weapon from behind. Whatever. All right, that was kind of. Anyway, another fisherman. I should take it to Udo. He wasn't even unconscious. I like shot him with a harpoon. That doesn't. Oh, dude, you hit him with a spear. Now he's knocked out. Oh my god. Whatever. First try. Now I have to drop my net gun. Which was a really good gun. Ah, well. This is a net gun level one. I made myself a level three. Space Cthulhu. Oh yeah, the 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 better uh, net gun should be where I found the hush gun, but I don't even know where that is anymore. But it's okay. At least we have a a net gun, and we'll just uh, we'll go down. No, thank you. Sir. shell. if I should kill him and then cap for the, uh, yeah, I might not come back over here for a while. All right, let's do battle. Hi, beautiful. Rank six. Oh, I never killed that before. Yeah, the drone's cool. Gun enhancement kit. Oh. Now we have a level two net gun. That's fine. Oh, we got to get those, um,. jellyfish. Mm. 
Today was a rough day, chat. We got killed a lot. But it was mostly that damn narwhal. And that other shark the other day. But that's what makes the adventure fun. The game seems well balanced where it's not too easy. Oh, is that? Ooh, I think that's the cookie cutter shark. Hey, nice. All right. Well, that was good. Now we got that objective done. Oops. who we're looking for. Where's Dave's health? It's his oxygen. If Dave uh, gets hit, then it lowers his oxygen. And if oxygen hits zero, you're dead to death. Okay. I think I want to kill that boy up there. That one. quality cat food. Can we not even feed that to the cat? Like, I don't see any way to actually give that to the cat. Maybe when we're back at the sushi place, maybe we can walk around as Dave 
before we like open the restaurant and like give it to him. Cat deserves a higher class of cat food, and I'm gonna give it to him. Trouble coming through there. Is it just the fang tooth? Camp in the damn door. Give it in the morning or afternoon at the sushi place. I think so, yeah. Ah, so you're saying I can go back to the cat during the day. Hmm, okay. Good plan, yeah. We can do that. See if we can take a little bit more seaweed. What's our main objective? Oh, uh, oh! I gotta go down to that secret area. Oh well. <laughs> That's all right. We finished the secondary objective and that other objective with the bull, the bull parrot or whatever. So we can just spawn back down here from tomorrow when we come back down. Or not tomorrow, but later later today. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's do buck bean. Oh, he's still expanding that. Okay. Underwater waterfalls. How's that work? Uh, it's basically colder water. So it's falling down. You want a reference to a Krabby Patty in this game? Makes sense. Alright, so since we're over cucumbered, we took care of the goal at the top. Now we just gotta do the bottom goal. Let's go to the boo boo at. Let's go to the boo at. All right. <laughs> oh, you brought the new fishman to our collection. Parrotfish with a helm and horns. The readership will go crazy over this. I'm excited to see how many of the up coming issue will sell when it's published Monday morning. When the issue's out, we'll bring you a fee for your work. Yeah. Please keep mm. up the good work. Hmm. If there's a fee for this, it might as well be serviceable weekend side hustle. Cool. Oh, he's growing. Nice. Okay. And we got a phone wallpaper. Let's go, let's go back to the sushi place real quick and see if we can feed the cat. Now we got high quality 
Cat food. Let's see. Kitty! Feed. Oh, we got three of them. There you go, kitty. Okay, so we only feed them once a day. Momo. Cool. Yeah, kitty. Uh, I think we did the farm this morning, didn't we? Let me just check it, just to make sure. I think we got two eggs. Oh. Stuff to do. Wait, so we can check the farm between. Between each dive. Oh, we gotta start doing that then. Have these been watered? Yeah, it looks like it. Cookster rating? That was a cookster rating. Actually, did we unlock? Oh, you mean that? I thought it was called something else. I don't know if we, uh, did we unlock that? Yeah, it says 203 out of 250. I thought we had dishes that were way better than that. Wasabi Max 5, Wasabi Amount 1, Cooking Slot 1, Interior Items 12. Yeah, it says Best Taste 203 out of 250, but... I don't know, maybe, do I have to upgrade my chefs more for that? I mean, we, we have been putting things on the menu that have been getting us more money. Um, okay. Oh, I gotta sell this at the village, too. The jade statue. Then I can get, like, another farm field. Yeah, I'm not sure. It, it, it's been stuck at 205, and we upgraded, uh... It's two times now that we opened the restaurant with something at 250 plus, and it didn't register, even though people are buying whatever food it is. Maybe it means that we have to put a minimum. Like it says, best taste, you think you'd have to have at least something on the menu 250 or above. But maybe it would work if we put something 250 or higher as the minimum. Because usually I'd be putting something at like 165, like 165, 170, and then some things at 200, but then one thing at 250 plus, and yeah. Hmm. All right, so our next goal has got to be to go down and get the uh, second device. That means we're going to cap more glacial fish. What the hell is that? A heart? Oh. I think we need all these things for upgrades for Duff. So the last thing that we need to upgrade the steel net gun is we could buy a steel rope from the blacksmith, but then we got to find a pelican eel, which I haven't found, and topaz, which we can find over time. And the money thing will be easy. That's just we'll just have to hold on to that money when we have it. It'll come in. Hey, what's up, bearded traveler? You know how come we didn't have the gravity gun? By the way, we picked that up. Man, I wish we could get a re- uh, The gravity gun is so good, it holds bosses in place and then does big damage. Any more to turn in? I'd be curious to see what we get from that. We gotta get 640 points, though, that's crazy. 
We'd have to do everything on the screen and then, like, double. I want to know what that eco-waterproof bag is, though. I hope it's, like... Maybe it's, like, if you get killed, you get to ke uh, keep more items. But I hope it's something, like, permanent increase to carry capacity. Hmm. All right. So we got to go down to the sea people and start with the second device. And we will do that tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching more Dave the Diver. I'm going to save here and we'll be back tomorrow morning for more of that. But later today we're going to be playing City Skylines with Bradford and it's multiplayer. So we're going to we're going to do the multiplayer mod which uh, we recently played and has come out with some new updates recently, so that's pretty cool. And then later tonight we're going to do Aliens Fire Team Elite, but it apparently seems that the new boss, the Gator boss, is out for Hunt Showdown. So we'll do that with Jerry and Bradford tonight. And then maybe we'll play F Fire Team Elite tomorrow, but honestly, I think we'll play Starship Troopers tomorrow night. But we'll see. But anyway, thank you everybody for watching Dave the Diver, and I'll see you all in a bit for our next Big O stream on the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, chat, for all the love, support. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Don't forget to do that. And don't forget to smash that join button and become a member right now. Let's go.